It's Professor Dave. Who likes tiramisu? He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. If you've ever been to an Italian restaurant and opted for some dessert after your meal, you probably noticed tiramisu on the menu. If you're not familiar with what this is, it's a coffee-flavored cake consisting of special cookies dipped in coffee, layered with a whipped mixture of eggs, sugar, and mascarpone cheese, flavored with cocoa. Tiramisu literally means pick-me-up, and this proverbial pick-me-up cake is extremely popular in America. Actually, it's much more popular in America than in Italy, where it is just one of many delicious desserts that are available. But Italians do appreciate a good tiramisu as well, so let's learn a little about the history of this heavenly treat. One might expect that tiramisu would have a rich history going all the way back to Roman times, but in fact, this is not the case. There is no mention of this dessert in any culinary book prior to the 20th century. Actually, the first literary mention goes back only to 1980. This may seem incredible since it pairs so flawlessly with the most beloved Italian flavors, like coffee, mascarpone cheese, and wine. But even if Italians feel like tiramisu has been around forever, it simply did not exist prior to the mid-20th century. There are old legends that state otherwise, but we should be very skeptical. One such legend places the birth of this dessert in Siena, around the occasion of a visit of Cosimo III de' Medici, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, in the late 17th century. A dish referred to as the Duke's Soup was developed that some imply is the prototype of tiramisu. And although coffee had already made its first appearance in Italy, it would seem impossible for mascarpone to have been available, as it is a highly perishable cheese that came from Lombardia and would not have made it to Tuscany safely. Also, the cookies used in this dessert, known in America as ladyfingers, in Italy are called Savoyardi, which means originating from the Savoy region, and this would seem rather suspicious in a Tuscan dessert for that era. Not to mention the fact that raw eggs are used in the making of the custard, and for those times, this procedure would have to have been considered dangerous and unhealthy because of the spreading of salmonella. So it would seem that this myth can be safely rejected. Another equally dubious myth is the one supporting the idea that this cake was prepared in order to be offered to Count Cavour when he was planning to unify Italy. Again, this myth can also be rejected due to the difficulty in preserving the freshness of the necessary ingredients. So let's get real. The true birth of tiramisu was in Treviso, Veneto, which is close to Venice in around 1970 or so. The creator was Roberto Linguanotto, who wanted to prepare a local dessert for his wife. The dessert was called sbatutin, which comes from sbattere, which means to beat. This is because it consisted of beaten egg yolk combined with sugar and wine until it became a velvety sweet sauce, similar to zabaglione, in which cookies were dipped. One day, Linguanotto, in order to please his wife, put together a more elegant cake with some of these same ingredients and added a few more, one of which was mascarpone. The result was something delicious, and from there, the battle of paternity for the dessert began. Many different restaurants claimed to have invented it, in Treviso, Al Camin, and Al Foger, all displaying creations with the use of the same ingredients, but without the popular name. One other restaurant, Il Vetturino, had been using the name tiramisu, but for a dish with ingredients that are rather different from what we know now. Finally, the name started to be associated with the current recipe, and it stuck, as the ingredients of tiramisu do indeed create a formidable pick-me-up. Now let's talk about the appearance of this dish. The original cake was definitely round, even though today we are used to seeing it as rectangular. This is strictly due to convenience, as the Savoyardi cookies are rectangular, so they fit better in a rectangular cake mold. The classic recipe includes the cookies, egg yolks, sugar, coffee, mascarpone, and cocoa powder. 
Today, egg whites are sometimes added to the mascarpone mixture to make the sauce even fluffier. In addition, the original recipe didn't use wine, but the use of sweet marsala wine has now become the norm. The rest is all about making layers with the cookies dipped in coffee, then covering with the egg sauce and repeating. The egg sauce is prepared on a double boiler to prevent salmonella. The cake is refrigerated for some time and eaten cold, sprinkled with cocoa powder. The flavor is heavenly, and today we can find many variations with berries, lemon, pineapple, banana, and coconut, with many restaurants and bakeries all over the world coming up with their own concoctions. But we shouldn't forget about the original tiramisu, and for that we have to say thank you, Roberto Linguanotto. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.